what a crappy situation. Actually, just kidding. Today, I'm gonna take you outside and talk about the black tank. Talk about how we clean it, flush it, drain it, all that kind of stuff. And some of the things that we do on the inside to maintain it so that you don't get in any trouble. So head on outside with me and we'll get started there and come back in. I like to get started right here. Now, I know most of you know, you hooked a hose in here, what the gray handle and the black handle do and all that stuff. But before we get to talking about the actual black tank itself, I wanted to give you a couple of quick tips here as it does pertain to your black tank. Well, one of the tips is, is when you're draining your gray tank, now your gray tank goes to usually like your shower and your sinks and stuff like that. You do not want to open the black tank side at the same time. The reason for that is because when you open both of these valves, now this does pertain to my RV. Your may be a little different, but on ours, if you open up both at the same time, you're going to mix the contents of the two together. Now, I don't know about you, but I definitely do not want to mix my black and my gray tank together. You know, the stuff in the black tank that comes from your toilet. Yeah, you don't want to mix that in your gray tank that comes from your sink and stuff like that. Now, let's go and talk about the black tank. Now, our black tank inside of our RV doesn't consist of a whole lot of things. It's just a tank. Cause there's stuff coming out of your toilet. Well, actually stuff going in your toilet, but nevertheless. Our tank only has a few things in it. One is the input that comes from your toilet. Another one is the pipe that comes off the bottom of the tank so that you can drain it. And then there's a sensor inside that tells you how full the black tank is. So that's really about it. But on our RV, we actually have another piece on our black tank. That piece is what we call black tank flush. It's a fitting on the other side of the RV. And we'll go over there in just a minute and talk about that one. But in short, that is how our tank is set up inside of this RV. On our RV, we actually have a black tank flush. What it's for is actually cleaning out the black tank. The way it works is that we hook a water hose in through this section right here. It'll push water through a tube into a sprayer. The sprayer is on the side of the tank on the inside. What it'll do is actually spray water into multiple different patterns and flushing the walls, the top, the bottom, and stuff like that, and flushing any of its contents out through the drain. Another part to your black tank is the actual level indicator itself. In our RV, we actually have a rod going down into the tank. And as the liquids start to rise, it rises up on that indicator rod and it'll start indicating right here on the level of the tank telling you when it's time to change it or when the tank is full. In order to check that, we actually can click right here and a light will come on right over here telling us what the indication of level is. Now the fuller that the tank is, it'll actually start to rise up and indicate more lights, which will tell you the level of your tank. If your tank is nearing full or is full, then it lets you know that it's time to go dump. Now, here's another cool tip for you. We've had this actually happen to us before. We actually had the indicator saying that there was something inside the tank and we know we knew for sure that we had dumped it because we had actually just dumped it and we did the black tank flush and stuff like that and it was still indicating level. So here is something that we did that may help you. We actually took a little bit of dishwasher detergent and put it into the toilet itself, which went into the black tank. Then we filled it up halfway with water and we drove down the road. When we got to our next stop, we actually had full hookups. So we hooked up the black water tank, dumped all of its contents, flushed it again, filled it up, flushed it again, and kept doing that a few times to get all the soap and stuff out of it. And then we went back to the indicator, checked the indicator for level, and found that the level indicator was actually working again. So all that detergent and stuff in there actually washed the rod out. Now a cool part of that tip is that you can actually do that to your gray tank as well. We've done both, and both times they have actually worked. Now to talk about your tank actually filling up, we use some of these little pods that we put into our tank to put down the smell and stuff like that that's coming out of the tank. We don't want any of that inside with us. So we actually drop one of these pods in right before we use the tank or after we flush and stuff like that, we put another pod in and it'll put some chemicals in there to keep down on the smell and stuff like that, as well as break down any of the tissue paper and stuff that goes into the tank to help with draining it out and keeping your tank clean when you use it. Now there's different types out there. These are pods. So you actually just drop one in, the little gel on the outside dissolves and all the stuff goes into your tank. There's also powder kind that you can pour in there. There are other kinds like liquid types that you can dump in there as well that all does the same thing. In sense, it keeps down the smell and also helps all the material that's inside of the black tank break down. 
Now I know a lot of you already know about the black tank, how it works, how it's set up, how does stuff get in and how do you get the stuff back out and the levels and checking all that stuff. I know you already know that, but just in case you didn't, I wanted to make a quick video about how all that stuff works. But before we end, I wanted to share a couple of other things real quick with you. One is this end cap. The end cap goes on my bumper where my stinky slinky is stored or the hose that you use to drain your tanks. The reason I wanted to share this with you is this screen. We put a screen on there before we put the cap back on. And the reason for doing that is to keep the wasp and stuff out. We actually opened it up not long ago and found a wasp nest inside of this bumper, which could have been a bad day, but it wasn't. Luckily, I was able to get the wasp nest out and stuff like that, but I put a screen on here, which prevents them from being able to get in and building a nest inside of the bumper. One last thing before we wrap up the video is to talk about the black tank flush. As I showed you mine and what it does, doesn't mean that your RV actually has one, but doesn't mean that you can't have one. There's actual videos online showing different black tank flush kits and stuff like that, and how they work and how you can install them and all that stuff so that you can have a black tank flush on your RV. If you watch and look up those videos, then it can explain all that stuff where you can buy the kits and all that. And just like my RV, where I hook up a water hose to spray out the black tank to keep it all nice and clean and get all the stuff out of it, you can also have that on your RV if you wish. So I hope you got something out of today's video talking about the black tank. And if you didn't, well, that's awesome. That means you already know and you're already two steps ahead. But if there's something else that you have that you want to share about experiences that you've had or suggestions or tips or anything like that in your RV, like I said, I was just talking about our RV and how ours is set up. But if you have other experiences, you can share those down in the comments below because you never know, there might be somebody out there with an RV just like yours and can use that input. So as we round all this up, I just wanted to remind you, please click the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Also, click the little thumbs up. That lets YouTube know that somebody else should probably be watching this video also. And until the next time, y'all keep it safe, keep your black tanks clear, and God bless.